Is Unity Engine good for VFX? VFX is a part of the movie, animation, and games industry. Thus, most game engines include VFX tools in them. Unity is mainly made for video games development, but you can create VFX in Unity using different tools like Particle System, which has almost every feature you need for stunning visual effects. It's hard to learn the Particle System in Unity due to the numerous options of settings it provides. The Asset Store actually didn't make it any easier, because when you choose any example of VFX from there, you will find it very hard to adjust and set according to your desired VFX because of its complicated settings. Yet, it's not impossible to learn them and manipulate them well. In order to do that, you need to start by learning the basic visual effects such as smoke, firing bullets from a gun, fluids, and so on. In addition, you'll have to learn the right way to do the muzzle VFX, how to create impact VFX, and the four key attributes of particles VFX, which will give you a better understanding of the more complicated ones. Of course, all of that requires previous knowledge and experiences with the Unity game engines and the C programming language. That variety in settings and options may get you lost and take a significant amount of time and effort in order to learn. But on the other hand, it opens many doors for creativity and it shows the user's capacity with no limits. VFX Graph is another tool for framework for VFX in Unity. It doesn't make VFX with Unity much easier, especially for beginners. But it has many useful functions. It allows you to create particle effects by connecting nodes with a node editor. And since it is internally implemented based on the computer shader, you can display a large number of particles without increasing the CPU load. Using it, you can create a wide range of effects. The Unity VFX Graph is an innovative tool. It's effective for volumetric video as a powerful way to make footage captured in 3D more beautiful. The VFX Graph actually has many useful functions that make it easier to make FX with Unity, such as mesh sampling which is a function that allows you to sample the position of particles from within the mesh within the visual effects graph. This function has multiple settings, and the particle generation position differs depending on the setting. You should adjust it according to the effect you want to express. There is also an SDF bake function in visual effect graph. Before this function was added, SDF files were generated using external tools. But with the addition of this function, everything from file generation to effect creation can now be done within Unity. You can easily generate an SDF file just by specifying the mesh and pressing the Bake Mesh button. Using DepthKit is another creative way to create good VFX in Unity. DepthKit is designed to create perfect environments for characters in Unity. It requires no previous programming knowledge and just the basic knowledge of Unity. It's so easy to use that you just need to import your video and metadata file into the game engine and you're ready for the playback. Even with all of those privileges for a VFX in Unity, when we come to compare Unity with other software that has focused more on VFX to make it their main functionality, we find that Unity is not always the best option. Take Houdini as an example it's much more professional to make VFX with. But for beginners, Unity is still a fine option. Nevertheless, Unity Technologies is still developing the VFX aspect of Unity. It's willing to build a next-generation, real-time 3D development environment by integrating the latest VFX tools into the Unity platform. Making tools for global artists developable in cloud-based workflows it seems also that Unity has another advantage here, which is the vast community of Unity. As Unity is the most popular game engine, it's easy to find courses, tutorials, and references to even share your work to get feedback and communicate with people who are interested in VFX in Unity. You may be wondering, since there are 3D software such as Maya, C4D, or Houdini that handle VFX better, 
Why do people choose to make VFX with game engines and Unity? In fact, that's because it eases up the workflow of game development. It's better to make everything in the same software to save yourself from the pain of incompatibility or additional tedious settings like controlling the light and so to go well with Unity's environment. At the end of the day, learning how to use Unity's visuals to create beautiful VFX in real time isn't that easy. But when you see the result, you'll think and say it's worth it. So in conclusion, Unity is good for VFX, but not the best option. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment for any questions or suggestions.